You're watching the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. Now here's your hosts, Tom, Nick, and Dave. It's you, it's me, it's N-R-D. It's you, it's me, it's N-R-D. Uh-huh. Let's start the show. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. It is you, it is me, it is T-N-D. Welcome. To the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast, ladies and gentlemen, if you are one of the 900 plus who are already subscribed, we appreciate you for coming back to the broadcast. If you do around here and you haven't hit subscribe, right underneath Tom and his confetti, there's a button that says subscribe. If you haven't done so yet, click that button. We are on the march to NRD1K. We are so close. So close, ladies and gentlemen. So come, join the broadcast, join the revolution, and have some fun with us. Uh... Yeah, that's all we got for this week on the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> one. So, that was a slow week in wrestling. Literally, Chris right. Castro came in and said, fuck it, I got this, everybody, and just stole the headlines for the week. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I got my brother. Did you get it in yeah. person already? You, no. That's oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you meant like you... But maybe by the time people are watching this, you might have it in person. I would assume. I feel like they they ship demolition really quick, or not demolition. Who are they? What are they called? The fat guys. Um, uh, natural disasters. Natural disasters. Yes. Natural disasters. They ship them really quick. I think. I don't know. I well, they had them in stock, so yeah, it helped. I'm very sick, so my memory is kind of shot right now. I'm dehydrated. I'm tired. I'm a little congested, but I watch wrestling. And I feel like right now is a really weird lull in wrestling. Fair. I think we're getting the, like, we've got some big stuff coming up, so we're not going to do much right now. Um, I don't watch Raw. Did I watch Raw? I did. I want to point out one thing about WWE. And I think it's important, and I think it's about wrestling, and I think that uh, it goes under the radar too often. Otis is the greatest thing that's happened in professional wrestling in a very long time. Oh, that's I it. agree. I like seeing Kiritazawa wrestle because he's like good, but yep. Otis, I, I, I don't know how anyone could ever think anything negative about Otis. And I don't know why he's not a world champion. Well, because they took the money in the bank away from him. The dumbest thing they ever did was they literally took away um, his tag team partner. They were heavy machinery. I don't know how long, like, if you remember back to that, Tom. Yeah, they were heavy machinery in NXT. <laughs> they were supposed to be part of that, like, draft call or <laughs> class call up. It was heavy machinery, <laughs> EC3, Gargano and Champa, and Nikki Cross, and they just fucked everyone up. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people are like yeah. fantasy booking that we'll get Gargano Champa three eventually, and I'm like, you cannot recreate that magic that they did back in 2018. I think, maybe, I think, maybe. but uh, Otis is fan fucking tastic. Otis is so good. He's so funny. Like in spite like of creatives' attempt to make him look stupid, he just works still. He's like a modern day R truth, of, I almost want to say. About, oh, you took the, I was literally about to say the exact same thing. I said he's like, yeah. could be R truth. He could, he could do this until he was in his 50s and stuff. Yep. Well, it was him and, uh, it was him and Mandy for a while. That, like, yep. love thing. That was brilliant. And I, I honestly, like, I, I feel like people hate on her a lot, but Maxine Dupree has really grown as a character and a wrestler. 100% agree with you. Like, cause she was just terrible. I just wish. And it was it was kind of more, I guess it's more of an Alpha Academy thing, and she's kind of come into her own a little bit without Chad Gable there. I just need her to stop, and I, I mean this in the most polite way. I don't need the character to just be like timid, scared, oh, I can't do anything, I can't wrestle, sort of thing. Like, no, 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 girl, fucking get in there and punch people in the face. They need to rebrand them though, because they're still going as Alpha Academy, which is kind of weird. And then the uh what what is Chad Gable's crew? The all um uh American made, I'm like stop that, because you know what? We're one letter off from American male, American male. Honestly, my good friend, my good friend Buff. Call him up. Let's call him. 
Let's call him right now. Cold call. Yeah, should I put his number? Could up? you imagine we just cold? Maybe, maybe <laughs> when we his... hit a thousand subscribers, we'll call. We, we'll we cold just call Bob Bagwell. Bagwell. <gasps> oh, should I, should I, should I click on it so everyone can see his number? <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Subscribe to the broadcast. It? We're fifty-three away as of press time. Okay. Uh, uh, no, no, that's too close. <laughs> Every psych, time. it's butter beans, everyone. <laughs> Every hundred subscribers that we get over the next week, we'll we'll release a digit. We <laughs> join our Patreon. We'll, we'll, the welcome gift. We'll get say, both Fagwell's phone number. I'll, I'll, I'll release a digit in order. There you yeah, go. There you go. That works. Do it. I think, I think in episode one one thousand, we should cold call buff. I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there. Episode 1,000. No, Ryan Barkin's coming on for episode 1,000. Oh, episode 200. 200, excuse me. That's what the next... That's Are the next we not at 200 episodes yet? We're at 188 we're at right now, I believe. Oh, we call, we're calling Buff at 200. The 200, we're calling all the old guests up, but we're definitely going to call Buff. We should just send Zoom links to everyone that was on the show and see who, who bites. <laughs> but, we, but guess what? But we're not in it. We just fucking, like... <laughs> Just randomly, it's fucking Buff Bagwell and Matt Cardone in a Zoom chat together, and we're like, "Have fun, everyone." No, we just we we just don't say anything. We're just in there, and they we're just we're recording off the bat, and we just say, "Yeah, we you were on our show once, and we we're we're at two hundred episodes. Wanted to see who would we're come on everybody. without an invite." It's like a birthday party, we're just blind we're sending we're invites. Brandon with his skateboards. <laughs> Who else can we Where is he? I got my. I still got my baby right there. I got my skateboard somewhere too. I, don't know I got the. Right uh, where's the Darby Allen? I got that whole collection he made. They're, they're in the basement somewhere. Nobody won. Nobody still won the contest. I won. Harold won it. Oh, Harold. Tom. Won it. Tom. Won, Tom and Harold won, but they weren't part of the broadcast yet. Oh, see, I'm. I'm. I'm forgetting the broadcast. The. Uh... Are we going to have to do, like, a Know Your Nerd moment again? Like, are we going to have to, like, a Probably. trivia contest here? Not today. I can't. My brain is so wrong. Listen, at 200. I'll say this. I would easily win that trivia contest. You know, there's not a person in this world from here to Los Angeles to Chicago and everywhere in between and on the side, I mean, that can beat me in a trivia contest. No one. Just throwing that out there. Okay? And if you want to put really your own, you want to come on here and shoot the shit, by all means. There's no one that can outdo me in a trivia contest. Just Wait, saying. You got, you got angry, dude. Calm down. Just saying. Calm down. A little bit of an earthquake over here. I also watched AEW tonight, and I'm the only one who did. I was I was doing wedding planning stuff, so sorry. You didn't miss out. I'm thinking. It's just I like, like turned on the TV for five minutes and Daniel saw that Mercedes Monet was wrestling and she's like, no, 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 no. We we turned this off. We don't need you being distracted. It's um it was just some getting ready for all in. And that was kind of it. Like it was just like lead up stuff. Uh what's cool is Darby Allen and Jack Perry are gonna be in a coffin match. That's cool. Didn't Sting and Darby do a coffin match last year? At all in? Yes. I don't know. Versus Swerve and Christian? I could be wrong on that. I don't know. I don't know. But I think Jack, they should do another exploding barbed wire match. Like a Jack Perry tried to kill Darby again. It was awesome. Again? Oh my God. I like, fear that if they did another exploding barbed wire match, that they would overcompensate with the explosion because the, the person was so bad that somebody would probably die. Do we, do we so think they'll ever redo that? <laughs> that just like, well, you, we can't mess this one up this time, so let's just put triple the amount we need. In. <laughs> I'll say this, and it's it's the <laughs> same thing why I'm excited for Bad Blood in October, late September, whenever it is for WWE. The problem with the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view has been, well, it's October, we need to put two people in a cell, let's do it. Exactly. Whereas, like, this time, when they do probably Drew McIntyre versus CM Punk and Hell in a Cell, Bad Blood, it warrants it. It yep. makes it that. So if when they had Moxley versus Omega, that's how they had to settle that score. I think that was, uh, that was what February twenty twenty one, like just after um, like a couple months out into Omega's reign. I think 
Like they had this blood feud going. And so a uh, barbed wire death match. Yes, it's over the top, but Kenny Omega is kind of over the top. Um, if you, you need the, the feud to warrant the stipulation. And that's what I kind of fear. AEW's problem is right now. Like, yeah, blood and guts is a cool match. We also talked about how the ending kind of was weak, but it's just like, oh, it's June. We've got to get five and five and a big double cage. Let's do it. You know, so you've got the acclaimed Swerve Strickland, Mark Briscoe fight and Darby fighting together. Like, what B-list Avengers movie am I watching? You know? I mean, I don't know. But so, you know. We, we, with all incoming, I, I'm getting more excited for Swerve versus um, Danielson. Okay. Do we think that like shenanigans are going to happen? Well, I also, I, before we go there, I am convinced that we're getting Brie at AEW All In. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if she like just came out and accompanied him. Really quick, the same way Brandy accompanied Cody at the beginning of his entrance. Like, Cody did his rise to the stage. Brandy came out, took the the helmet, headdress, whatever it was, kissed him, and then went to the back. I wouldn't be surprised they pulled something like that. Tonight, Swerve said that, like, his, his daughter is going to be watching from ringside. His family is going to be there. He can't wait. Can't wait until he gets to paralyze him in front of his daughter. It was brilliant. Swerve is, Jeez. like, mean. I love it. Um, so I'm really thinking we're getting Nikki and Brie Garcia showing up at All In. Oh, God. Uh, can we also I'm, just say I'm that I it. don't... I'm here for it. You know what I'm... You know what we're going to have to... We're going to have to have a full-on debate about this one day. Who had the better... And we'll have to see when it comes to an end. Who had the better title reign? And who felt more elevated afterwards? Swerve Strickland or Damian Priest? I don't know. Who had a better title reign? Who had a better title reign? Swerve Strickland. Swerve. I like Damian Priest now. I think Damian Priest is more over now than he was prior to the title reign. But I like again, I've got to see how Swerve plays out entirely. It's only been a couple months, but it's very easy. It's Swerve. All right. It's absolutely Swerve. Swerve is, yeah, absolutely. I was never a big Swerve guy, and now I'm like, all right, I feel like this guy. But he's he signed the poster. He's somewhere on there. I don't know. So, well, we all know the real question, and that is, where does Shane McMahon fit in all? <laughs> for fuck's sake, I Chicago. He's, he's more of an all out guy. Yeah, he's a, he's an all out guy. If anything, he, he won't get that reaction in in. England. <laughs> I actually, you know what? I think, honestly, if you're comparing them, I feel like Chicago, you've got more of a chance of them booing him, whereas London uh, might just cheer anything. Like, like somebody, like fucking uh, Tony Khan could take a dump on the mat, fucking rub it all over, and be, and then start doing uh, Snow Angels, where, uh, you know, and people go like, yeah, 80,000, woo, woo. But I think they, uh, I think Shane's happening. I think it's got to happen. I think it's gonna happen too. What if they like pandered to the the English crowd and it was like, here comes the what is it? The pounds? Is that their, their money? Here, come the here comes the pounds. And here he comes the euro. Like, and then and Union then all Cross, the American fans can be like, yeah, here come the pounds, baby. <laughs> you know they could they could make it work. If it happens. do, we really think that it's happening? I don't know. Vince Russo thinks that Vince McMahon and Shane McMahon are buying AEW. That's not a chance. Not a chance. That's not a Dave's chance. boy, like, according to the Patreon chat. I'll not say a this. chance. Tony Khan <laughs> and his family, I should say, have enough money that they would avoid any type of sale, at least to Vince McMahon. I'm I don't. Sure. I see them being open to a partnership one day if the right co-owner came about. But um, not with Vince. But not, but not Vince. Correct. Because I don't think Tony Khan sells unless like he just gets bored of it and doesn't want to do it. I mean, I don't think that like this was ever designed. Yeah. To make they're already rich. They're not there to make money. This is like 
something that Tony Khan just wants to do. Agreed. That like, he likes to do and stuff like that. I mean, he's not doing this to get rid. I mean, I'm sure they're making money. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but, but, yeah, I don't know if they have officially money. turned a profit yet. I would, yeah. assume, you know, COVID I, may have slowed that down, but I'd assume it's been five years. You also got to remember they don't they don't have the house show revenue that um, WWE does. They do one house show a year, maybe, sort of. But um, and I'm curious what their that's something I'm curious about because obviously we as a pro wrestling tees store pro wrestling tees dot com slash wrestling nerd broadcast, um, like we know the payout. You know, for royalties. Well, we know for, our payout. Yes, we know our payout. We should say that AEW is not getting that. Yeah, so I'm, yeah, they're not making as much money as we are, folks. Oh, Go, for sure. MJF ain't getting as much money per T-shirt as I'm getting. We're not making shit. <laughs> I bought a shirt. And I was like, oh shit, somebody bought a shirt. And I was like, oh wait, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. Too. I, like, I got oh, excited wow. for a minute. I was like, oh, <laughs> working in that PayPal change. You know, I got a wedding to pay for, folks. So. uh Patreon.com slash WNRDB. Really appreciate it. Give us your money. Because I told Nick and Tom I would pay for their hotel room. So it's true. Money. Money, please, everyone. Money. Money, money. Here comes the money. There goes the We're money. We're coming. We're coming on planes, trains, and automobiles. Yeah, I'm driving. Train. Um, I haven't looked at the train yet. That might be a, that might be an option. A train from Florida? They have trains. In Are you gonna like put a, a fucking there. A I bandana know, on a stick. You're gonna be in a bandana on a stick and be like, like hopping on a boxcar. It's like I don't know if you guys have ever traveled by Greyhound anywhere. Yeah, it's like no, the most I don't, miserable. I don't it's do awful. the bus, honey. The most, it's like something that would take four hours is now gonna take sixteen. <laughs> I did uh I did from back home up to Syracuse. Oh my and God. usually like if I drive that myself, it would have been like six hours. It was like a 10 hour ride, and I'm like, This yeah. is like we didn't need both cars, so it was like, All right, like I'll just meet you up there, whatever. And uh, it was it was awful, awful. And I had I just kept farting, I was so <laughs> bored. I watched here's how bored I was I watched 13 Reasons Why on my phone. <laughs> His poor person sitting next to me must have thought I was really going through it. <laughs> <laughs> he just went, Sir. You need this more than I do. It's a Buff Bagwell trading card. Oh, <laughs> fucking Buff Bagwell. Man, He's remember coming. when he had him on the show? That was yeah, so right. weird. Coming episode 200. What are you talking about? What fucking wild. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll I have a walk love, down I'll memory lane, up. folks. We're, we're 12 episodes away from 200, which is... We gotta do something cool. Do you think that if we call Buff, they have any idea who we are? No. Who the fuck that is even, this, that makes man? I'm wearing a... We 100% have to do it. <laughs> No. Well, hold on. Let I, me, let me, uh, let me I see genuinely right don't want to call Buff. We're going to call. Every phone call I've had with that man was really weird. And we're gonna do it. We're gonna do a live on the broadcast. But see something Just have Buff right. and the Soul Taker on. Yes, Buff and oh, the, so... the Soul Taker is definitely coming to the two hundred party. <laughs> well, this is, is getting exclusive. Everybody, write down underneath in the comments. So uh, I would uh, just like to say to this: if I'm party. mapping. If I'm mapping this out correctly, my math's fucking terrible. Episode 200 will be released on Tuesday, November 12th, which will also be the week after Election Day. So literally the week before the 200th episode is the debate episode that we do every year. So if we are still standing as a nation on November 12th, we will proudly bring you the Wrestling Nerd broadcast. So we're going to hit that this year. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh shit, that's cool. We're that's twelve cool. weeks away, man. Um, so if you're watching, if you're currently watching, if thank you, one well, thank you, yeah, two you. fuck you. Uh, if you want us to have a guest on episode two hundred, leave it in the comments, and I will work on Twitter of getting people on. I haven't. I'm thinking a famous anybody. guitarist. Shut up. I can't do that. Um. I, I will reach. I will reach out to people on the internet to see who I could get on episode two hundred. Uh, so let me know who you want it to be, and I'm gonna put it in our Patreon chat too. That's let me idea. know who you want it to be. Chris so Castro. 
it won't be it won't be Castro. Join our Patreon so you can have a say in who I bother on the internet. Also, there you go. Ugh, I didn't make an unboxing video because I have COVID, but I got a box. Uh, oh, can you guess? Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Oh. Is it Tropical Smoothie Cafe? I got a bandana. Is it oh, Tropical okay. Smoothie Cafe? I can't see anything. I just see fruits. There we go, baby. Maybe oh my at God. the smoothie bar. Love it. Neon pink Tropical Smoothie Cafe sweater. If that isn't just so damn Tom. I am like, I'll tell you, having COVID's the worst. But like, sometimes this shit rules. I got a free smoothie. There you go. There you go, baby. So you know what? Being me is awful. Sometimes being Tom Sasso sucks. Other times, but a lot of the times, being Tom Sasso is great. A lot of the times, it's pretty great, and this is one of those times. Tom's getting all the tropical smoothie cafe gifts this week, folks. Here's the problem. It'll be over before this airs. But if you're a member online on their app, you get a free smoothie with food purchase all week this week. Ooh. My problem is I have COVID, so I can't go get them. DoorDash, baby. Uh, DoorDash is so expensive. Grubhub, the unofficial food getter of the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. Yeah. Have them get it's you Sam Adams. So expensive. Oh, it is. Guys, I'm really sick. I feel like shit. You know what made me not feel like shit? The Chris Castro brawl that came out this week, it looks fucking phenomenal. I ordered an unautographed, well, Margaret ordered one for me because I was in a meeting. Uh, and then I ordered the autograph one on whatnot. So let us know if you got it in the comments below. Jason Rich, it. shout out Jason for getting the number 69. Oh, I whatnot. saw that. Big, big. Love to see it, baby. Good things happen to good nice. people. We love it. So. Because y'all cool get autographs, uh, too. Because he, uh, Jason said he wanted box. autographs on the back because it's going to be loose. He did. Yes, I haven't gotten my natural disaster yet because those went to Margaret's well. She got those for me while I was in a meeting. So I have my new home. job's a little hard sometimes, folks. I can't just be buying brawlers like I used to sitting at my old uh, desk. So um, I got them. Nice. Yeah, I bought stuff. Let's I see them. Like They'll be up there. Yet? They'll be up there. I have not seen them in, in close That's up. That's that yet. one. Good, good face. Could be fatter, but I mean, it's fat. Could be fatter, good face. Love the hairline. He's he's good. he's definitely got hips. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that's great. Like, I have no, no complaints. They need a Golga now. Ah. And or a shark. And then, <sighs> really good too. Yeah, I love it. To me, they just they got they, his they... stern looking face and whatnot. It looks great. We already yeah. got a shot. Now we just need a tugboat, and we can have the three faces of, uh, of Fred Dotman. Yeah, I um, I was pleasant, pleasantly surprised. I'm not surprised with these. I assume they were going to be good. Um, I like. I want them to keep doing Hasbro's because then I can display them with my Hasbro's. Sure. I mean, this, the list is getting shorter and shorter. Though. The list of what we got, we got breaking news from the broadcast last week about the repo man coming. He's coming on the list. It's on the list. Hey, that was off recording. That was not off. It was on, wasn't it? It was that they they put it on the list of wants. Okay, oh, sorry, sorry. If it I'll say this. I'm just <laughs> I'm just trying to briefly look at my Hasbro's. I have so many. I mean, I think at this point, number one of the Hasbro's that I have is. Doink the Clown. I want Doink, um, yeah. I want Doink so bad. I'm genuinely shocked that they didn't do it when the Iron Claw came out, but I don't know what their Legends deal is. I'm surprised they did not do a Carrie Von Eric. Yeah. The Texas Tornado. I'm shocked at that. I would want a whole Von Eric pack. But All I'm curious if... I and we, they, We've that. been told by them before, like, there's a lot of companies that, like, they don't know about pro wrestling tees, but I don't know if the, I don't know if the Von Erichs have a pro wrestling tee stores, but there's a lot of like there's a lot of old timers. We've got there, a Von know. Eric item in the crate before, haven't we? But you're right. We've gotten a we've gotten a Kerry Von Eric shirt. Now that I think about it. So but I'm just saying in general, like there's a lot of um 
families like that don't you know the the wrestler is deceased and their family doesn't know how like about like, uh, and he's and whatnot like how they reach out giant to him, gonzalez so. yep, giant, giant gonzalez has no there's like no family there's like nobody there's nobody to contact for yeah like, nobody can figure that's out that's crazy that's crazy just, just that, that point, just make it just make it yeah, that's what I said. If they think his body's like, who's there's nobody to see you? Then what are you gonna do? Cease and desist? Fine, send him a check. <laughs> <laughs> but you um, know, as soon as they make it, there'll be some like 14th cousin removed on my mom's side or something that's like, they made him, and I feel like I deserve compensation because my like when you win the lottery and all of a sudden you, know. you find out about three cousins you didn't yeah, know you existed. Know so happen. Man, if I ever win the lottery, I'm gonna spend that money so fast, no one's gonna even know I had it. Yeah, very true. We'll know. There'll be signs. There'll be signs, folks. There, oh yeah, no, I'm gonna announce it, but that money will be gone <laughs> before anyone can contact me. By I'm the, so bad with money. It'll be like a. It'll be like the old Facebook status, like how it said, like Tom Sasso is. It'll be like Tom Sasso is just won the lottery last week, but spent all the money already. Let me know if anyone's got plans. Hit the Facebook for uh. Anyone trying to hang? I got cool toys now. <laughs> I got COVID and a big check. Let's go make bad decisions together. <laughs> if I have together. fucking COVID when I win the lottery, I'm going to be livid. Tom this is looking sucks. to make bad decisions. I'm always looking to make bad decisions. I you know what's like not a bad my... decision, though? Hitting the subscribe button below. Just hey. saying. You know what else isn't a bad decision? Giving us your money on Patreon. Patreon.com slash WNRDB. You know what's a great decision? Buying a t-shirt of ours on ProWrestlingTees.com slash The Wrestling or Broadcast. And why don't you make your status that so-and-so is watching The Wrestling Nerd Broadcast on Facebook. Why don't you take a screenshot, put it on Instagram, tag us in your story. Hell, even go on X. It's not always toxic. Genuine, generally is, but not always. There's an occasional tweet here or there. Sometimes I get on there and yell at people. But you know what? That's what Twitter is at this point because I refuse to call it X. So make a good decision. Subscribe to the broadcast. Follow us on social media. Give us your money on Patreon and Pro Wrestling Tees. And put in the comments, Tom, you're a great person. That's how we'll know you watch till the very end, folks. Because Tom yeah. is a great person. And sometimes I'm people sick. like to hear. I'm sad. Well, we're going to cheer you up because we're going to give you some love in the comments. So, folks, that's it for this week's episode of the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. So, on behalf of myself, the King of the Nerds, Mr. Dave C. The Voice, the Founding Father, Mr. Nick Carpenter, and, of course, Tropical Smoothie Cafe's unofficial spokesperson, Mr. Tom Says Hi Sasso. Don't forget to tell your mother you love her every day because like Kevin Durant's mom, you're the real MVP. Good night, everyone, and God bless America. I'm getting my hand tattooed in two weeks. Oh. Fuck.